Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I am going to talk about the bagging technique within the R software about what it is and how you can utilize it for creating effective models for your predictions or estimation of statistics. So let's go ahead and first see what is bagging. So as it is mentioned over here, bagging is basically a, a combination of bootstrapping and aggregation. So the question arises, what bootstrapping is? Then as it is written here, it is a process where many random samples with replacement are created from the existing sample. So to understand it, uh, whenever you create or whenever you do the modeling, you always have the train data and test data. So the sample which we are talking over here is basically a training data in this case and what we are saying here that uh, you are creating many samples from your training data and as it is mentioned that it will be a random sample with the replacement. So let's say if you have 100 observation in your training data then you can even create 100 samples out of it having 10 observation in each of the sample. In that way you are creating a random sample with the replacement. Now let's go to the second part which is aggregation. Aggregation is basically it is the outcome to each sample to estimate the most possible accurate statistics for overall sample. So in the next slide I have shown it a little bit in detail about how it is in case of classification and regression problem. So bear with me uh, for a couple of minutes until we cover this slide. So as Bagging is basically creating a random sample with replacement and then aggregating those samples to estimate the best statistic for your training data. So this is the overall idea about what bagging it in a very simple way. And uh, as a sideline, bagging is, I mentioned bagging is very popular and effective way to estimate the most accurate statistics by reducing variance. Now this is important part that it reduces the variance and bias from the sample data. Why it is able to do that? Because it is doing the random sampling with replacement. And that's the reason that uh, if there is a, a variance into your, a good variance into your data or your, you figure out that your training data is very biased, then it reduces that bias because of the random, random sampling with replacement and create the most effective uh, statistic that you can use in your test or on your live data to predict the outcomes. Now let's go to the second slide to understand the classification and regression problem and I will relate this to a little bit on the aggregation the part which I mentioned that it is explained on the next slide. So here it is mentioned that when aggregation happens in case of a classification problem the votes are given to each model based on their accuracy and most popular model gets selected. So it's like uh, the concept of democracy that uh, you have many candidates uh, on which uh, you, you have party and party has many candidates. A vote is given to the candidate and based on the popularity of uh, candidates they get the vote. And then these guys get uh, uh, based on their winning situation, each party gets the maximum candidates who get selected and accordingly it forms the government. The same is the concept you can understand over here that uh, each of the sample gets the vote and based on the sam those samples which gets the particular type of vote, maximum time gets selected and it, then it says that it is the best model or it is the best uh, uh, you know model to predict the outcome on your regular data set or the live or test data set. So that happens in case of a classification algorithm that votes are given and then based on the popularity of the model gets selected. In case of regression, average value is used to estimate or predict the statistic. So that's about the classification and regression problem. So <clears throat> the next thing is about uh, banging in R. So just a couple of notes about the packages that uh, uses bagging technique or that uh, gives you the flexibility to do the bagging technique. So ADA, BHE and IPRAD is basically the packages to develop the bagging based models and also the CART which is classification and regression tree package is 
uses bagging based method to develop disease and trees as well as our part also uses ADA bag and our pred, IPRED based bagging to create the season tree. So CART has their own way of doing the bagging, whereas our package, which is again for creating recursive partitioning of regression trees, basically uses ADA, BAG and IPRED based bagging technique. Also, the random forest technique, which is most popular these days uh, for create for predicting the classification or regression outcome. It also uses the bagging technique or the bagging approach for generating a forest of hundreds of trees to predict the best outcome. Now let's move on to R to see the uh, see an example based on the IPRED package. All right, so here we are in the R environment. So first thing is importing the library, which is IPRED. So that's imported and if you don't have you can install it by using the command install dot packages ipred and once you hit enter it will going to install the package. The second thing is creating uh, the data set. So we want to use the iris data set so I am just showing you the first six observation and it is showing you multiple times because for some reason my R Studio is entering the command two times. As you can see, whenever I enter one command, it enters two times. So just ignore that part. So this 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 is basically the uh, the information from the data set Iris, and it has four numerical variables: sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, and then the species that is related to these variables. And R uh, objective is to predict the species based on these numeric variables. By default, if you see the structure of the data, the species is a factor variable. So that is the thing you need to make sure if you are dealing with the classification problem, then it should not be a character but a factor variable. So if I show you the structure of iris, it will show you that species is a factor variable. Other than that, every other variable is a numeric variable. In your case, if your data is having the classification variable as a character variable, make sure you convert it to a factor variable to make sure it is giving the formula will giving you the right result, which I will going to show you in a couple of minutes. All right. So once we have created the iris, we will create a replica of uh, data set. So I will use the iris underscore bagging and assign the iris data set. This is just to make sure that I am not making any changes to the iris data set. Once I'm done, I will use the prediction. Uh, I will use the bagging uh, method. So if you don't know about the bagging method, which is present in the iPad, you can put a question mark and say bagging. It will show you the details of bagging, bagging classification, regression, survival trees, and then a lot of other details. So we will not go in details because I want to keep it as simple as possible because if you are reading it, or uh, learning it first time you will get uh, you know confused with all the relevant details but once you get an expertise in the basics always go ahead and utilize these other parameters or other details that are given all right so what we want is iris dot bagging now i am creating a model and what function i will use is bagging and then what i want to predict is species by all the variables. So when I'm specifying this dot, this period, it is saying that consider all the variables. Otherwise, I will have to write the name of each of the variable, then comma, and then the data that I'm using. The data is iris underscore bagging because I don't want to use the main, the original data. So iris underscore bagging, and that's pretty much it. You have other parameters where you can, you know, for, do the further tuning of the data. But uh, this is all you need to pretty much do to make sure the model is working and giving you the result. So once I hit enter, iris dot bagging is there. And next thing is to predict the result. So I will, I want to predict the result in some sort of an object. And the next thing is uh, predicting it. So iris dot iris underscore or I will just say predict underscore species 
So the function we're going to use is predict the model name, which is iris dot packing, and the data set name, which is iris underscore packing. So iris underscore packing is where your data is. Iris dot packing is where your model you have created. So once I hit enter, it has created it. What I'm going to do is I will create a variable in iris underscore bagging uh, for the values that it contains predict underscore species. So for that iris underscore bagging dollar prediction and I will just say predict species as species. Yeah. I would have directly did it uh, done it into this command but I have just for the sake of clarity I have uh, taken two step approach instead of just one so that it is not looking complex all right now we had the outcome here in this or the prediction in this variable we have assigned the prediction into the data set by creating a new variable with the help of the dollar sign so once I hit enter it creates an outcome and if I want to see let's say again first six observation I would have gone and said iris had iris bagging and here you can see that species variable along with the prediction variable that we created over here so from first six observation it is pretty clear that it is working 100 percent accurate which is very very rare but since this data is uh, uh, is kind of an example data and we have used the entire data that's why it might have given us 100 percent but let's create a table and see the outcome so with the help of with command with iris underscore bagging so with command is useful so that i will not have to use the iris underscore bagging um, when specifying the variable within the table command so i'm saying table and in table i want species and prediction once i hit enter shows prediction found because i made a mistake of spelling error P R E T I C T I As you can see, it is almost 99% correct as in just uh, one case, where in case of Virginica, it has uh, found it or it has predicted in versicolor. Otherwise, apart from that, everywhere where species is Setosa, prediction saying Setosa, uh, when the species is versicolor, prediction is saying versicolor when it is virginica even in 49 cases it is saying uh, virginica but in just one case so it's probably a 99.99 percent but that's something uh, the beauty of the bagging that you get a very very accurate output and that's why uh, you know it, it is the most popular one and most of the model that you will see these days are using this technique uh, to reduce the variance from the data or the biasness from the data and create a better model that gives you the best outcome even in the live data or the test data so that's that's about it i wanted to show you about the bagging thing uh, you can use an ada bag or uh, you know cart and r part all these different packages that uh, that basically also uses the bagging approach as well as the random forest i'm planning to cover random forest in my upcoming video and about how to use it for different types of problems and then I will again may, maybe mention about bagging and if you find if you find there that um, I'm mentioning bagging you can always come back to this and see what bagging is all right so I'll meet you in the new video then with a new topic